Hi, Dr. T here. We're going to do a quick Python tutorial using some of the skills from our prior tutorials. We're going to create a menu that's going to print out until the user wants to exit. So we're going to ask them what is their favorite sport. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu. So we're going to use DEF to define this menu. It'll make our lives much easier. Um, another little cool tip in Python. So we can create an object here, our menu object. We're going to say print. And we're going to say a dot football. And I'm going to copy paste that for a couple other options. I'm basically going to do A, B, C, and D. So B, we're going to make soccer. And anytime you copy paste, I just warn that you want to be cautious. Read your code carefully. Make sure you know what's happening. Make sure you update things accordingly. See many mistakes from copy paste. And then D will be exit. Okay. Now, if you go back to a prior video where we had a while loop, we used a while loop to print our menu over and over again until the user um, chooses to exit. So I'm going to create my, my variable to control the while loop. So if you remember, I used a Boolean. I used BOL for a naming convention. I'll call this my loop control. And I'll set that equal to true, right? So it's going to start out as true, is what we want it to do. Now, we haven't used it yet, so it's underlined. But what we're going to do is now we're going to create, create that while loop, right? Create the while loop. And under this while loop, we're going to say while, and then we're going to do my loop control, all right? Put our colon at the end, and we're going to say print out this menu, okay? And if we were to just run this right now, here, let's just see what happens. Run, and we'll have an endless loop of our menu coming out. So we got our menu, but we have an endless loop. Why? Because we didn't set our variable to false, right? So I like to just make this false right now, just not so we don't forget it. But right now, it's just going to turn false after the first time through. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to capture user input. We need the user to tell us what they like. So if we set up an input variable, let's say, um, you know, item ITM chose in as a variable name. And we'll do input and we'll say, pick a letter. Make it something simple and easy, okay? So now we have this variable item chosen and it doesn't like the spelling. So that's the only reason why it's highlighted there. So we can make it maybe nicer typed if we want, but we can change it. I'll change it so that it's not unhappy with me. Now, what we wanna do here is test that entry. So if, if you remember back to our if statements, right? So if we do if IDM chosen equals, and let's say A, then we're going to end up saying print you like football, right? And then we'll use our else if, which is E-L-I-F here, item chosen equals B, and we're going to do print you like soccer. And we'll do another condition, E-L-I-F, item chosen equals C. And we'll print you like hockey. And then last but not least, we'll do our else condition. And with our else condition, we will do our variable equal to false. And what we'll do is print exiting the menu. Okay, we have some underlines to clean some things up and this is just natural typing with our languages. So we like to see what's going on. Well, if we take a look here uh, of the first one and see, well, we need to do our double equal sign, otherwise we are not actually comparing. So that'll fix our problem here. Same with the B. Um, and then don't forget the colon at the end. 
equal sign here. And I do this intentionally while I'm working with my editor and doing these tutorials so you get more comfortable or familiar with the messages that you're seeing. So what's going on with this one? This expects two blank lines after the class or function definition. Well, right here, that was my definition. So I need another blank line. Okay, you'll find that with Python. It's the spacing is important, the indents are important uh, to the language to work. It's a very easy to use language, but that's really important. Now, of course, we want to run our test cases. So let's run and we want to pick the letter A. So let's enter our A. Let's pick the letter B. Let's pick the C. And then lastly, let's exit. And that's our menu in Python. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them below. Please subscribe for future tutorials. And thank you for watching.